All right, today we're gonna to talk about one of the most critical things that WordPress offers, and it is its posts function. Posts are essentially your blog posts. That's what the majority of people are gonna use them for, and creating them, customizing them is super easy, but you need to know how, so let's show you how. These are all my posts, and I click on this one. We have a perfectly good post here about VR kits, because absolutely why not? But how do we create something like this? And not only how do we create something like this, how do we make it look better than this already does? So as standard, we need to be on our WordPress admin dashboard, so get logged in. And then we're gonna head across to, surprisingly enough, posts. So just in here. Now you can go straight to add new post, but I just wanna to go to all posts and show you that first. So this is all the posts that we have currently on this particular site. This is the one here that I just showed you a second ago. But what we're gonna do is create a new one. So as I showed you, you can go to add new post here or we're already in here. Let's just go to add new post at the top. So as soon as you click add new post, you get taken to this page here. So this is essentially where you are going to create your post. And the first thing to do, obviously, add a title. So let's call it why VR is the future. Fits in with our website nicely. Now, from here, we can start to build our blog post. Now we've got a few options. We can come down here and we just start typing. So we could type a whole body of text, no problems at all. And your blog post would essentially be ready at that point. You could publish it, but we wouldn't recommend it. And there's many things that you can do. So let's take a look at some of those things. So let's get some text in place first. Let's get our article in place quite simply by typing. Okay, there we have it. We have our text. That's absolutely fine. But this is gonna show as a long block of text. It's been proven that that's really not the best for either keeping your audience engaged or getting them to stay on your site and read more blogs. You need to break that up with other things and potentially things that are gonna just add a little bit more visual interest. So let's look at how to do that. So let's start here. Let's add a break. So just do that by pressing enter. And I want to add an image in here. Now I've got a few different options, but what I actually want to do is to create a series of images. So I'm just gonna click on add block just down here. Now I can do that also from the top left, just up here, and I can open up the big blog inserter just here. So from here, I can type gallery. And this is the one I'm looking for right here. Now I can drag that into the space that I wanted it or I can come over to where I was before to add block, search for gallery, and just click it. And there we go. We have our images. Oh, sorry, we have our space for our images. So now let's get some images added. So I'm gonna upload a few different images. Now you don't have to upload images if you've done it in the past. You can just go to your media library. In your media library, you can see that you have a whole host of images, but these are ones that I've already put there that we've used previously. So we can upload images from where I showed you before, or we can just go straight here to upload files. And then I'm gonna select files. Now up here, I've got some VR images that I want to use. So I'm just gonna select all four of these and open them. So now we've got those four images selected that we wanted to upload. I can now create a new gallery. I can reorder these into however I want them to look. Let's say I want that one to be first, that one to be last. Oh, let's change them around a little bit more. Very, very simple. And then we can just insert that gallery. And you can see there I've immediately got my gallery and it looks great. And it's broken up the blog article just a little bit to just make it that little bit more interesting. Obviously, you want to add things that are going to add context to what you're writing about as well. Now, with that said, what we can do is we can start to head down here. Let's say we wanted to embed a video into this article as well. For the sake of argument, let's just embed a video from the WP Beginner YouTube channel. All we have to do to create that is, again, we're gonna create a break, and then we just have to paste in the URL. So if you copy the URL, you can paste it straight in there, and it just arrives. Now, what you can also do, if you should so want, 
is you can add it as a block instead. So you can add the block. We can search for YouTube. We can press YouTube. We've got embed as an option and it's going to give you the option to embed a video right there. There we go. Now we have a video embedded into our blog article as well into our post. While we're talking about things that are more visual, let's also set the featured image on this particular post. If you want to know more about what a featured image does and in detail about how to set one, then click the link that I'll end, click the video that I will link at the end of this one. So for the featured image, we're gonna come down here to the right hand side and just onto set featured image. You can see it's just there. So in the drop down, I'm gonna open it up into my media library and I want to use this as my featured image. So I'm gonna click that one and then we're gonna come over here and set featured image. Now let's get into things that are a little bit more stuff that you might not see directly on the page, but is of critical importance to ensure success of both your post and also your website. So let's have a look at the categories and the tags. So if we come here to categories, you can see that we have categories that we've already created. So for example, let's say gadgets, this still comes under gadgets for me, but we can also add a new category. This is just a good way of categorizing, surprisingly enough, everything that you're creating. It makes it easier for you and it makes it easier for your website viewers to find relevant information. So I'm gonna click on add new category here and the new category name, I am gonna call this, let's call it VR. Let's have a new VR category. Now we don't have to select a parent category. A parent category would be something that the VR would, for example, come underneath. So we don't have to use that and we're not going to. We're just going to add that new category right there. So we now have VR. So this will now show under both cat gadgets and VR for categories. That's perfect. So let's close that up and head to tags next. So for tags, these are a little bit more like your traditional kind of hashtag, I suppose. So VR is going to be another one of mine. I'm going to hit comma and it's going to break that so I can put another one in there. So virtual reality makes a lot of sense to have that in there as well. So these only really want to be one or two words. You can go up to kind of like 10 or 15 tags and that's going to give you the best results. This is all helping your website's visibility. It's all helping your users use your website and it's definitely helping your website SEO. Once we have our categories and tags in place, we're gonna head and we're gonna add an excerpt. Now, an excerpt does exactly what you might think. It is a small excerpt of the text to give some give people more context about what the actual article is about. It's like a short little snapshot, a blurb of your blog, if you will. Now, there's many ways that you can add an excerpt. I'm gonna show you one of them here. If you want to see the other ways that this can work, then please check the video that I will link at the end of this one. It'll tell you all about excer excerpts and how to add them in different ways that might be a little easier for you. But if we head over to excerpts here, we can write a whole excerpt based on this particular blog article. So that's now our excerpt in place. And while we are down this end of the sidebar here, let's go to discussion and we can just choose where we want to allow comments, allow pingbacks and trackbacks. We're gonna leave all of that on. I want to allow those things. Now, a couple of other options that you can see here. Uh, we have stick to the top of the blog. So your blog will naturally put the most recent blog post at the very front, at the top. It's just the way that it's built. If you want this one to stay there the whole time and not kind of gradually move down your blog with everything else, then you want to tick that. Obviously pending review if it needs to be reviewed. And then we can go to author here. We can actually change the author to somebody else. Um, the, the authors on the site are set. You have to add them yourself elsewhere if you want to add a different author, uh, but just the ones that are available, we can choose just there. Now we're almost happy with our post here, but I do want to show you just one more thing that you can do that can be very, very useful. So if we scroll down here, what I've actually done is I've activated the all-in-one SEO plugin. And what that's doing is it's just giving me a whole load of additional information and it's helping me write this with SEO in mind. So I've done this without the help 
of all-in-one SEO. And if we come down to the page analysis here, it's showing me all the different potential SEO errors. So my title is too short. I should lengthen that out. Readability, what's it saying here? So it's saying that a lot of the sentences are too long. A lot of the sentence are not enough transition words are used. So it's really trying to help you optimize your SEO. And if you want to check out All in One SEO and its tools, then hit the link down in the top pin comment or in the description. So if we head back up to the top here and we just click on publish, this is now going to be a published post that we can actually go and have a look at. You can see again, All in One SEO trying to help me out on this side and we're just going to publish. Now you can schedule this if you want to, instead of publishing immediately, you can check and choose a time and date for that to happen. But we're going to go for immediate. So let's publish this. So back on our homepage, let's go over to the blog and here it is. Here is my brand new post right there, complete with the excerpt I wrote and the featured image there at the top. So let's click on this and you can see, my post is here. Now, there are a few things I could maybe amend. This image here appears to be too large. Maybe I could put a smaller version of that image in to make it load faster. The load speed of your website is very important. But as we look down it, there we go. We have a full blog post with everything in place. We even looked at the SEO. We've added a gallery, a video. We've got the featured image. We've got the excerpt. This is ready to go. And if you want to learn more about featured images or excerpts, click the videos here or anything more about all-in-one SEO, click this video right here.